almost 500 locations around the globe wearing Guy Fox masks are taking part in mass rallies planned by the global protest group Anonymous. The Million Mask March unites those demonstrating against the violation of online privacy as well as corporate greed and corrupt governments. They have been mostly peaceful, but in London, police have clashed with demonstrators on the city's streets. RT Sarah Firth reports from the British capital. to push back the protesters in this million mask march to let a car get through. There's been a lot of resistance from the protesters who are here. It's all about a thousand people now on Parliament Square, possibly even more than that. It's been a large police operation, but faced with very, very angry protesters as they try and clear the roads. This has certainly not been the peaceful movement that the protesters said that it would be. Well, rather unexpectedly, the Million Mask March here in London has taken to London streets. They've moved from the Houses of Parliament where they were protesting and they've walked right down onto the Mall here in London. If you look behind here, they're all walking down towards Buckingham Palace. Well, the million mask protesters here in London have ended up outside Buckingham Palace. We've had fireworks going off, some of them even making it across the gates. We've seen clashes break out tonight between police and protesters and some of the groups splintering off and, as we said, coming all the way down here. Of course, this movement's been taking place in cities around the world tonight, but here in London, protesters ending the evening outside Buckingham Palace. Sarah First. RT, London. Our correspondent Sarah Firth, who you just heard from there, is on the ground for us. You can head to her Twitter feed for all of the developments from the Million Mask March in the British capital. Now, meanwhile, one of the, the biggest protests is underway in Washington, D.C., where hundreds have marched on Capitol Hill. Activists there are reporting that several arrests have been made. RT's guy in Chichikan has witnessed the rally in the U.S. Capitol. Here in Washington, you have different protest groups marching under the umbrella of the anonymous. They protest different things. They protest what they see as a police state. They protest against the persecution of whistleblowers. They protest against Monsanto, the world's biggest producer of genetically modified seeds. So generally speaking, they see themselves as a movement against the government and corporations taking advantage of the people. So we're standing next to the White House. What do you want President Obama to hear? We want President Obama to hear that five years after the financial crisis, the banks being bailed out, we're still suffering, people are still struggling, they're drowning in debt. We live in a country that's fundamentally unfair. We no longer have the rule of law. From the NSA to Edward Snowden to Chelsea Manning, all over the world, people are speaking out, whistleblowers are speaking out, regular people are speaking out and saying enough is enough. We want justice, we want it now. And people ask if a decentralized, masked movement like this can achieve anything other than just making noise. Well, last year, they were instrumental in informing people about the CISPA legislation that would provide legal protection to internet giants that funnel private information of their users to government agencies. And now, in light of Edward Snowden's revelations, they demand a drastic overhaul of the NSA. Archie's got a chichikan for us there. Now, protests have taken off in Canada and France. Elsewhere, Italy, Serbia, Ireland, Sweden, Portugal, Czech Republic, and Norway have all joined in on the global action. Demonstrations are also occurring in Mexico and Japan, as well as Brazil. Also, people are still in the streets in cities across New Zealand, Austria, and the Philippines as well. You can head online to RT.com for live updates and the latest images from rallies all around the world.